Lesson for trouble in mind. The standard that is well has been covered by so so many artists. So I did a fair version too. And we're in standard tuning. I have a cape on the first fret which suits my voice best that way. And here's my here are my strings. Okay. I'm going to play the introduction first. Well, I should say, uh, Trouble in Mind is an 8-bar blues. And when we think about an 8-bar blues, we think, of course, uh, Key to the Highway. But there's a slight difference. Key to the Highway. I got the key to the highway. Trouble in my, trouble in my I hope you notice the difference. Key to the highway when we're going to from the B7 to the A7 stays in A7 for two B, uh, bars while after the B7, Trouble in Mind goes for one bar to the E, and then for one bar to the A7, and the rest is the same, E and B7. So there's a slight difference 
which gives the song its own uh, <clears throat> flavor. Okay, here's the introduction. Starting with a hammer on and sliding to the eight frets. Of course, I forgot to mention my capo is a zero fret, so this is the first fret, second fret, and so on. And I refer to the chords, of course, to their position uh, E chords, A chords, B7 chords, while it's a half tone up. Anyway, Let's slide to the eighth fret and bend. And the next two beats are shuffle basses. Triplet there, bent. I forgot also to tell you. You see, I'm going. Going up and slightly slowly down over the next two beats. And that bass is muffled, of course, after I picked it. The typical country blues bass, though not, not like that, muted all the time, not open, certainly not, don't do that, don't ever do that. So it's, and the second part is not, but da, 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 that second part of the beat is almost inaudible. It's a shuffle, so every beat is regarded as a triplet. Bend, and go to the B7 and start immediately with a bend. You see that second beat, let it rain, that, that. That, 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 that. it's those little new things that give the song its, uh, well, very bluesy flavor. So the third measure. And muted the open after I picked the open strings by my picking fingers and then A. So one more time that third uh, bar and followed by the fourth. And those are not muted, they are ringing clearly. And I go to the uh, fingered chord like this um, <clears throat> for that hammer on. That pull off, open string, not like that, but slightly. You could do also 7 frets pull off, 9th, 7th. to the B7 so it's an interplay also which bass I let ring and which that I mute now the last bar uh, beat of bar 6 I'm playing the open 
G and D string followed by just placing the chord and creating hammer-ons. Uh, but I don't... No, don't do that. And while I'm going to the chord, I pick a pinch of the open E strings. So the last beat of bar six. One more time. One more time without the pinch. Sounds like that. Followed by a little quick slide to the second fret fifth string. Run there, all triplets. And I want the notes ring clearly, so I'm not going to play it like this. Sorry. Where all the notes ring that you left, no, I'm going to use my temp and as a more as a um, rest stroke. And when I go down, you see, I'm tilting my fretting finger to kill the sound there. sing on the last beat of measure eight. Travel in mind, oh baby I do, but I won't be blue away, call the sun. Starting trouble in mind with a shuffle. Baby, I'm sliding your third finger to the ninth fret for that B7 here, where we only play the basses. Going up with the D, uh, B7 form. Trill. So the bass. Walking into our A chord. Hammer on. First and second fret, second string. Followed by a triplet. And we're adding the index to the 5th string 1st fret, creating a diminished chord. Trill again. I'm hitting the string sideways, really not picking but hitting almost. There's a mute, very important, so that the word back door, which we're singing under that B7, well, that's a word that's two syllables, back door. So, back door. I'll sing it uh, one more time after this. So, da, 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 da. Same as before, that B7. And that pinch. Cool it there. 
bend, and you see I'm using my two fingers to bend. It's much easier that way. Pull up, pull up, pull up. And um, bar 16, trill. Sorry. I'm gonna lay. Alright, I'm gonna do it one more time uh, with vocals softly so you can hear what I'm doing exactly. Starting with measure 8. So when I play the that turnaround lick, I'm gonna lay my hand on some Second verse, of course, same progression as the first verse, but instead of going to the B7 high up, I'm gonna stay on the B7 low. So I'm gonna lay same figure. My head walking into the B7. Using this figure just before the B7. Before that, we did it in a different place. Same B7 moving up. Then B7 at the end. Same again. dynamics there. Da, 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 da. All right, one more time with vocals slowly. Well, it's slow song. I don't think I can play it any more slower than that. So starting with bar 16. Notice how, how I move my chords, my fingers, my fronting fingers up so I can keep that D7, um, C7 there really short. I'm gonna lay my head on lonesome Thank you. 
that was a solo. And we started with a hammer on, same as, as we started the song. And then, then fret 12 fret, and I'm re really using dynamics here. Adding the third finger to the uh, 12th fret. Well, normally in a guitar with 14 frets, I would fret that with my first and third finger. But here it is. It is a bit difficult with, because it's a 12th fret guitar, so I use these two fingers to do that. So it's up to you which you will use. So slide, slide down and fifth fret slide up and grabbing the B7 arpeggio and well the bend with the tenth on the tenth fret of the first string with the with the pinky is not easy but you don't have to bend it. It's, it's a nice touch, but it's not mandatory. That, that, and then. No to country blues bass. See my hand go. And I really want that open E string to ring. And in the downbeat going down. And that hammer is over two beats. So it's not that's not a triplet. And accenting. Sliding up to the 12th fret, and I'm using my two fingers to do that bend. And with a 12th fret guitar, it's easy. <laughs> uh, it's, sorry, it's 11th fret, but it looks like I'm grabbing the 12th fret because of the well, the, the sign here. But it's the 11th fret, and I'm bending it really. Triplet, da da da. Eight frets. And I let the ring, when we go to the B7 in bar 30, this one, I will really let that ring. Than it before. Now, not from the fifth string, fourth string, but from the fifth string. That open and hammer on. All right, that's worth the price of the admission, I guess. <laughs> what I'm doing here, I'm hitting, I'm bending the first string third uh, fret. But I only, and I'm hitting down, but I only want that one string to ring. And how I'm uh, getting there, first of all, my index here is muting the second and the third fret uh, string, let's say. And when I go down, it is my palm here. You hear? I'm, the second and the first string will ring, but not the other strings, although I hit with my nails. Like that. So it takes a bit of practice, maybe, <clears throat> but it's a cool effect. 
So. And then I'm raking up with my index finger the first three strings and bending the third string. And then with the temp I play the third string second fret. And I don't want to hear this in the next beat, of course. So. When I fret this, I tilt my index finger and I mute the first two strings. And that, that bend is slight, a slight bend. So, one more time from, let's say, uh, bar 28. And I hit that sideways, that last bass note of bar, to, uh, what it is, 28, sorry, 28. Because this one is muted. Give those bends time. Also, you don't hear that open third string ring into the next note. It's not like this. No. My fretting finger mutes that open string. So I hear two distinct notes. When I'm going down to the river, gonna take my rocking chair. difference with the first verse because the accompaniment of the third vocalized verse is exactly the same as the first verse. Uh, with two differences in the B7 I'm gonna play don't play any guitar accompaniment for the last two beats. I'm not going to play the bass here. It's the same lick as bar 15. But no bass. The bass starts in bar 16 again. So one more time. And notice how I change, well, um, adapt the vocals to the guitar also. And I think that third verse is a good uh, example of that. Uh, don't quit me, don't quit. That don't is very soft. Don't quit me. Or rock them away from here. And you can bend this too. As a variation. So bend and pull off. Yeah. Oh, she don't quit me, and I almost lost my mind. Sometimes I feel like laughing, baby, just to keep from crying. So again, that last verse, you know, my good girl, same as the second verse, so bar 17 and so on, with two differences. Again, I'm not going to play the B7 
uh, the last two beats. Uh, sometimes I feel like I feel like I'm laughing. Baby, just the key, the last beat. So I'm not gonna play the last beat of bar 22. That I'm not playing anything. And then instead of I'm playing. Bending the first string, second fret, up and down, a full beat, second string, third fret, use all your fingers, well, two fingers to pull that bend, and the same for the second fret, third string, and then, so one more time. So that was the end solo, and there's one thing not in the tap, and that's that move, which is the same as when on the bass strings. So after the last verse, baby, just to keep from crying, I'm playing, da, 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 and then we're going to bar 33. Ringing over those two beats, next two beats. Da, 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 da. You can do a pull up and go into the B7. Da, da, da. So, one more time. Da, da. Notice the bass. Da, 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 da. Let that really ring bar 34 first notes. short. Sorry. The A, a little shuffle there, and I'm muting the open uh, fifth string, but not the, the picked with the index fingers on the fourth string. Seven, but a full beat in bar 38. And then we have the turn around and then we slow down. out of that lick. <laughs> Not gonna 
explain again. Again, I want, I want those, that triplet, the last triplet of bar 41, every note uh, sounding distinctively. Notice how I'm using to do that slide. Normally you would do use your third finger there, but since we have to go to a that well something like a, it's like this is a E9 with this uh, something different anyway. So also mute it. And I use my second figure to do, to do that last slide, fifth, seventh fret. So I'm already in position to form that chord. And you can end either on this note or adjust the pinky on the first string or two strings like that. So. I guess that's it for Troubling Minds. Don't let it trouble you. Have fun with it.